So welcome everyone to another round of Plant Nomads. We are here in the lower control tower area that I was working on last time. I have made some extra additions since then. I've actually expanded, made sure all the top pieces are done and the lights are done in each side. And each light is tied now to a switch, which is inside. I figured it'd be a lot better if it's inside. So, you know, it looks like, oh yeah, you got the control tower. You come here, you say click. All the lights shut off. Everything in that hangar shuts off. Nice and well done, you know, on that in terms of as much as we can do for control wise with this. You know, I mean, technically I could sit here and find it, you know, control it that way through like a bind key or something. Didn't want to do it that way. So we have hangar bays that are functional and I could either continue upwards for the next part, the next control tower, or I could continue in the hangar bays, which is what I'm going to do because yes, I need to build up, but I also need to still add functionality that will tie both to the hangar bays and the landing pads themselves. And that is the conveyor connections. So the way I'm envisioning this is basically centering around the middle here with the light and having, as you can see, basically two mounting points for two containers. And that actually still leaves plenty of room. So you could take you know, container off of this and click it in there and be fine. I've got this part built. Now I just have to build the next one down. And I think I'm actually going to build one on this side as well. That kind of comes down the front. The back, I'm not going to worry about so much because that's where we're pretty much going to have the conveyors coming in. And so this way, it, it kind of looks almost like a slot loaded type of setup for it and actually that sticks out a little bit more than I would like I think that that's in all the way yeah so um, that's not quite the look I was going for so I guess we're gonna stick to right there like that so that's just to give you a front side part to help with alignment is really not necessary really i'd get away with just one in the middle but i want to make it look like there's some kind of frame holding it in place rather than just is it happens to be balanced you know i don't want it to feel like it's weird from a physics standpoint and i'm just going with those because it gives kind of a somewhat textured look actually take that out and we'll go with this instead so we get kind of a nice curve look and there we go we have one mount up top and then one mount below and basically yeah just we'll connect it in you'll have access to whatever's in the storage containers for production and so you'll go out you'll have say one of these empty at least you'll take the one off of this toss it in there let it dock in you're done and of course uh I could add a hover pad selector thing to turn it on and off, but instead I think I'm just going to rely on once I get the connection up to here using a conveyor connector to minimize the amount of lag from each thing docking in. And there we go. I have both sides on one hanger plus instead of going over the light. So, you know, that looks like it's in the way. I uh, went around to decide I'm going to do on one side so there's not a redundancy in how everything connects. And I'm not sure where I want to place it. This might be a case of I leave it just started and it's adjustable for anybody who wants to download this later to use that. Uh, and just kind of decide, you know, where you want to place certain things so you can dock your vehicles and be like, okay, here's the spot and it's going to have the little item, you know, conveyor connector underneath to connect everything in sort of thing if not then you know you can do whatever you want you can go and replace one of these with a you know the ceiling panel with the conveyor connector on it and just have that be the way everything connects i'll leave it kind of up to individual preference and now that i'm looking at this not just that that seems almost out of place but this it makes me think of like like pouting lips like like that, it just looks like like duck lips, you know, duck face. I don't like it. 
So here's the problem. Uh, if I build up through here, which gives a nice conduit type look to it, I've already had to move that switch a bunch. And if I build across here, it's fine, except for that light over there. If I build across here, the light is the problem. The switch is the problem. The lag is the problem. If I build across here, that works fine, except I then have to go up, which means a visible conveyor trunk outside. And of course that still causes a little bit of problem there. Uh, that may end up being the best option because this, I really wanted something up here, but that cutting across the stairs is going to be an issue. Or I just go across there and then have it loop all the way around, which means a lot more resources and not quite as clean of a look as I would like. And there we go. We have one side linked all the way along here. Yes, we get this in the middle of your view, which is why I wanted to avoid that. I really did not want to go that route, but it, it's a better option than the other thing that is going to have it going and redoing all of this. I mean, right there, even I wouldn't be able to get through because I got the stairs in the way. I'd have to do some weird stuff with the stairs right there. I'd have to avoid the stairs. It's just you know what? I can go across this way and I can just manipulate it differently under here. And now that I've actually started doing this, what I'm thinking is instead of doing every hangar bay to be storage, I'm thinking just two of them. Two will be the storage ones because that's, if I do double stacks, that's eight storage containers. That's a pretty good bit, not counting what you have in your vehicles. And then that would leave a spot for the, uh, mining rig lifter the transport design to sit in one and i have an idea for another design that could fit into this one with room to spare and that will give you uh some other options as well so basically two for like utility production and then two for just picking up supplies i was trying to avoid doing a whole wrap around type thing but as i was just trying to place these in it caused a problem <laughs> with alignment. So I'm actually thinking I'm going to do just that. I'm going to build all the way out and create like a hook style look to this, which will give kind of, uh, I guess I'm that sort of thing. And we'll do like this, I get, there we go like that. And then we'll have that and do the same thing there. Uh, or, you know, there when it, it doesn't jump at the last second. And I'll give that kind of hook style look to it. So it's like, yep, it's meant to hold them. And yeah, it's, it's just a necessary thing to do because it had so much trouble with me getting it to place right. You know, one of them they placed both of them too low and far out. Then I got one to place right and the next one didn't place right after that. So I'm just going to do this to make sure that it's not going to cause any issues, hopefully, with one of them placing in the wrong spot. And there we go. Now we have them tied in to the rest of the storage and we can see my uranium drop box. We can see there, there it is. The deuterium drop box, all three printers, autonomous water purifiers, everything showing up. So yeah, these are connected in. Yes, there's still lag doing that sort of thing, but I did see, you know, they, they're working on it and it's experimental to fix some of that lag, uh, hopefully very soon, but that at least gets it working. It looks all right. And you know what? Let's look here. I connected that part there. I'm going to have to connect this here too. So it'll just give more of that bracing. That's fine. There we go. And now we go and do the final placement and bam, it snaps right in, which is just what I want. Make it super easy. No confusion. And I'm out of or too low on composite parts mark two. And there we have it. Two bays finally done. It took a while. I had to take the black toad out and get a lot of biomass containers. And of course, getting out there, I actually got away from some of the lag caused by the base and everything going on. But of course, as soon as I come back into range, it's just back to 
consistent stuttering every two, three seconds. And it's just getting really old. But I've got two bays done at least. I'm still thinking I'm going to stick with just two bays. Because, yes, we have the mining rig carrier design that's going to need a spot. And having the storage containers in there is going to make it kind of a tight fit. Maybe I'll go ahead and build the infrastructure for it and just have it where there's no containers in place if you want to do it that way. But I want to see what I can do before I go that route with the storage space here. Because, yeah, you know, you might just want some utility. You might just want to have one spot for the minor carrier setup and one for another design. You know, I've got one in mind. Not going to spoil it yet, but I do have one in mind. I want to try building. That uh, will add some functionality. It looks as though this has started to shift back towards the middle. Obviously, that is not dead center. It's slightly off, both in one direction and the other. So we're going to assume this is roughly about center. I have started to move back in this direction, probably because I added the storage on just that side which is why it looks to have shifted a little bit in that direction over there where where that stuff is. So yeah, I may add the mounts for it and maybe even add the storage containers. Just depends on how much room there is, but it's at least started on that. I think next I'm going to actually focus again on just doing the tower, finish the tower so we have a nice view tower have the main control area, which because I've got everything set up facing this way, I am going to put the tower control and let me get rid of that. Speed things up. Put the tower where it's facing towards this, facing this direction, going towards the base for control. And basically we'll have just the one control thing, maybe an inside cockpit type seat instead of the standing controls, uh, just so we have like a captain's chair. And then that way, once that's done, and I do have storage there, so technically I could, if I add the air mounts, I could load up a storage container over here, haul it up, you know, with supplies in it, just have to set some um, item dispensers up throughout the area, and I could technically move everything out of this area, away from the base, far off in the distance, and try to reduce the lag while building. So I know it doesn't feel quite like much, but this actually took a while, mainly because of lag when getting the biomass containers and things like that slowed me down. More importantly, having to go in and put stuff into production chain, get stuff out of production chain, you know, opening containers and waiting two minutes for it to just open so I could look and then having it reduced to about 10 frames per second to actually go through the containers. That adds some time. The big thing, though, is the fact that now it's started to stutter every few seconds. And in some cases, it's caused me to misplace blocks quite consistently or accidentally change color of a block that was already built, having to go back and fix things like that. So, yeah, this is taking a lot longer than it should have taken to do this amount of work. But that's going to be it for this episode of Plant Nomads. Like I said, next time I will be doing more of the control tower at the top piece. And we're very close to getting this finished. So if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week and I'll see you in the next video.